Hello everyone, Zephy here, and this is Bandit. Say hello, Bandit. You look like Scheisse today. Jesus Christ, dude. Bandit is a one-armor, three-speed, vanilla defensive operator, a member of JSG9 who should be free for all owners of the game unless you bought the starter edition. With the aforementioned three-speed, he is a great roamer, although you can stay on site and use your gadget to its full potential by bandit tricking, a technique which I'll explain in a little bit. Speaking of his gadget... <laughs> with the power of Levi's, he can carry around up to four car batteries, which he totally didn't steal during his time undercover in the biker gang. Each of them can be hooked up to any electrical surface, that being barbed wire, deployable shield and the reinforcements. The surfaces that are connected to the batteries destroy all gadgets that come into contact with them. Notable exceptions being Echo's drones, Maestro's evil eyes and Mira's black mirrors. Other than that, it also deals 9 damage per second to attackers which come into contact with the electrocuted surface. I find the best way to use the batteries is to hook them up to crucial reinforced walls during prep phase to prevent Hibana and Thermite from beaching them open. Just be careful of Maverick, because he can cut through reinforcements without taking damage from your batteries. If you have any spares, you can hook them up to deployable shields or barbed wire which are stationed in choke points to prevent the attackers from joining you out. Another thing you can do with El Bandito's gadget is bandit tricking. This is a way to completely counter Thermite and Hibana and prevent the attackers from opening up the reinforced walls completely. I shall talk about this in a separate section of the video. For now, let's talk about his weapon loadout. Banjara's weapon loadout consists of the MP7 SMG, the Mate 70 pump action shotgun and the P12 semi-automatic pistol. The MP7 is hands down one of the best SMGs in the game. Equipped with a 30 round mag, 900 RPM and 32 damage per shot. For barrel attachments, it has access to the compensator, muzzle brake, flash hider or suppressor. I personally use the flash hider, although the new recoil changes... <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> I personally use the flash hider, although the new recoil changes might make me change my mind. For sights, it can take any close range optics, although the iron sights work pretty good as well. It can also take a laser sight if you like to use it. The MP7 is an absolute beast of a weapon, but don't sleep on its rival, the Mate 70 shotgun. It is one of the best shotguns in the game with great damage, fast cycling speed and incredible reload time. For attachments, it can take any close range optic and a laser sight. Don't overthink it, customize it the same as you would any other pump shotty. I personally use the reflex with the laser to improve the hit fire spread. The P12 is a decent pistol, with a high capacity magazine, good damage, although the iron sights leave something to be desired, especially when compared to the Russian PMM or the Canadian Brownie. But that doesn't mean it can't help you out in a pinch, especially when you're using the Mate 70. Bandicam's secondary gadget options consist of barbed wire and the nitro cell. Barbed wire synergizes with your primary gadget very well and is in general pretty useful on its own. I mean, it's barbed wire. Place it in common choke points through which you'd expect attackers to push, such as doorways and staircases in order to slow them down and maybe even use the sound cues to ambush them and get an easy frag. Like mentioned previously, you can also connect your batteries to them to prevent attackers from droning easily. Another option you have is the Nitro Cell, which you used to see very rarely before but has slowly been creeping its way into ranked. It's an amazing fragging gadget, especially on a 3-speed operator. Just throw it towards the enemy and get easy frags. <laughs> Drugs. Use whatever you want here. Both of those are great in right circumstances. Now, let's talk about the most interesting part about Bandit. Bandit tricking. What is bandit tricking? It's a way to more reliably counter Thermite and Hibana since placing down your batteries early just leaves them open for being easily destroyed by Thatcher or Twitch. The way to do so is to wait until the attacker hard breaches place down their gadgets on the reinforced wall they're planning to breach and then placing your battery to destroy them before they can detonate. It's a technique that is very dependent on Bandiatera's good hearing, so get a decent headset before attempting to do so. You should also turn on advanced gadget deployment in settings to lower your chances of dying in case you mess up. How do you bandit trick them? It's fairly simple. Just stand dead center in the middle of the wall that you are planning to trick and look straight towards it or straight away from it. Then wait until you hear the signature sound of Thermite deploying his exothermic charge or Hibana shooting her ex pellets from one of your ears. It's all pretty straightforward from there. If you heard the sound mainly from the left ear, you banded the left wall. 
If you heard the sound mainly from the right ear, you banded the right wall. If you hear the sound approximately equal from both, you banded the central wall if it exists, otherwise banded the wall on the side from which the sound was more prominent. Being efficient at it can easily win you rounds, especially on objectives where a single reinforced wall balances out the defender chances of winning. To help you hear better, you can also shoot out a hole in the wall you're going to trick before reinforcing it. And now for the best part of the video, I am going to tell you all the ways to counter bandit tricking that I know of and that you can try in your next rank game. Number one way is fairly obvious, and you just need Maverick for that. Using his blowtorch, he should make holes on leg level of reinforcements. That way, when Bandit will try to put down his battery, he'll be very exposed and Maverick or his teammates will be able to easily shoot him dead. Just be careful when Thermite will be placing down his charge, since those holes work both ways. The second way to counter Bandit Tricking is by using Zofia. A crit with Zofia and Ella's concussion grenades makes players affected with the concussion to cancel their animations and stop whatever it is they are doing. This is why Monty drops his shield when he gets stunned by Ella's mines and why Bandit will stop putting down his battery when he gets concussed by Zofia's grenades. You see what I'm getting at, right? Just start indiscriminately shooting concussion's grenade while your Thermite or Hibana prepare their beating gadgets to prevent Bandit from tricking. As a defender, the only thing you can do against that is to put down Jaeger ADSs near the reinforcements to snipe down the concussions before they can detonate. The third way requires to use Capitao's firebolt. By shooting the fire right where you would expect Bandit to trick, Thermite or Hibana can put their breaching tools on the wall without having to worry about Bandit batteries. If he tries to put down another battery, well, he's probably going to die because of the way his gadget placement animation works. However, this way is not 100% consistent and you are better off using one of the previous two methods. Also, Capitao's fire goes through walls and because of that, if you're not careful enough, you might accidentally fry your friendly Thermite a little bit. This is not a problem for Hibana though. The fourth way requires the attackers to have both Thermite and Hibana. If Hibana and Thermite place their breaching gadgets on two different reinforcements at the same time and detonate them as soon as they possibly can, it will be incredibly difficult for Bandit to destroy both the charges before either of them detonates. It is possible to do so on walls which have only two reinforcements, but on walls which have three or more reinforcements, Hibana can shoot her pellets in such a way that it would take Bandit to place two of his batteries on two separate reinforcements to destroy just the Hibana charges. This method requires a bit more communication though, so be careful. The fifth way involves vertical destruction and doesn't require the attackers to have any operator in particular, although soft breachers like Buck or Ash would be more efficient at this method than say a Blitz. Just destroy the floor or the ceiling on top or under from where the bandit is tricking and hold an angle on the reinforcement from the inside while your hard breaches do their job. If bandit still tries to put down his battery, well, you can just shoot him. Just be careful of being flanked or being shot at from the hole that you just made. The sixth way is also pretty straightforward and requires frag grenades. Basically, just throw a frag grenade on the other side of the wall when your Thermite or Hibana are going to hard breach and get an easy kill. You can also use flashbangs to make it harder to hear the sounds of gadgets being placed, but this is not a guaranteed way to counter the tricking since Bandit will be able to place down his batteries. He'll just have a harder time figuring out which wall he should chop. The seventh way is, uh, weird. <laughs> On Villa, in Master Bedroom, you can put a charge on the floor next to the statutory room wall and detonate it in order to destroy the bottom part of the wall which will give you a sideline to work with because of the way Thermite Explosion works. You can use the second charge to detonate the rest of the wall. It has been done a couple of times in Pro League and it works. I mean, it's it's, it's really dumb, but, but it works. And there we have it, all the ways you can counter bandit tricking consistently that I know of. Hope this will help you out in your future endeavors. In conclusion, Bandit is an amazing operator who can do a bit more than just frag out and he's one of the most versatile characters in the game. He has great guns, very useful gadget and he's also 3 speed so don't hesitate to pick him as a very efficient roamer who also denies hard breachers. I wish this guide helped you guys out. For further viewing, I highly recommend Varsity Gaming's video on how to bandit trick, link in the description. And don't forget, communication is key. Good luck you guys, have a nice day.